Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, as you guys can tell from the title of this video, I bought a whole bunch of bookish things off of Wish. Now, in case you guys haven't heard, Wish is essentially the dollar store of the internet. It's this little app that you can download on your phone or you can go to their website and you can find whatever your hearts desire for ridiculously cheap outsourced to China. So I decided to see if I could find bookish things to make this relevant to booktube uh, because there are not many things that you need to accompany the habit of reading. Like you don't really need accessories or things to help you read, but us people on booktube really like material items. So I went through and I picked a bunch of different things. I had kind of a price range of around $50 that I wanted to spend on this. And in case you guys have never been on Wish, Everything is either free, where you just pay the shipping, which the shipping is more expensive than whatever the item costs, or you can find things for like a dollar or two dollars. Um, and the longer that you search, the more you tend to find the same product for like 20 different prices. It's a whole thing. So I have an entire basket full of items. I believe all of the things have gotten here. The one thing you guys probably are aware of when it comes to buying things from China is that it takes forever to get here. So I'm pretty sure I've gotten all of the items that I have ordered, including that. I'll save that one for last because I am the most intrigued for that item. But I have various different things and various different forms of packaging. I have like a whole bunch of items. So we're gonna go through, we're gonna unbox all of these things and we're gonna see if you can actually get anything of any sort of quality off of Wish when it comes to bookish items. So I've got my phone with me so that I can figure out what all of the items are called because half the fun of Wish is the titles of the items and you guys will understand what I'm talking about as we go. So let's just start with this puppy. Ooh, that was actually heavier than I was expecting. Hopefully that wasn't anything breakable. So let's see what is in package number one. Ooh, okay. Will this work? So I got this. I, oh my God, this is ridiculous looking. I got, I think I want to say two different book lights because when I think of bookish accessories, book lights is one of the first things that comes up, like a little reading light. This one was interesting though. So this, first of all, oh God, it's just foam. Sniff test. Uh, you always want to do a sniff test when you're getting shady things from the internet. It smells fine. It smells fine. So this is a posable um, reading light that you're supposed to put around your neck and you can pose these however you want. There's a wire in there so that you can read. Let's see if this actually works. Do I need batteries? Okay, it looks like I'm gonna need two AA batteries. Let me go grab those real quick and I'll be right back. Alrighty, I was mistaken, it was AAA. Your girl can't count the A's on the little symbol. So let's see. Okay, so the batteries just go in like the back of the neck piece. Ooh, ooh, we have light on one side. Do we have light on the other? Ooh, we have light on both sides. Can I blind you guys? Maybe? Um, fun, fun. Ooh, it has one light bulb, two light bulb. You know, not bad. Let me turn the lights out and see if I can read with this. Okay, it's very dark in here. But you know what? This is actually pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna use this. This is really neat. So each option has one, two, or both on as an option and you can turn them off individually. And you know what? This actually really works. Darn, this is cool. So this is known as the hands-free hug light, neck book light, flexible LED night light reading lamp. Yeah. That's one of the shorter titles. I love Wish because they literally just toss every word possible into their title so that like when you search things, it'll come up. And this, I paid $2 for this with $3 shipping. So this was five bucks. And I'm not gonna lie, this is kind of cool. Like you could actually like cross this. Oh, don't choke yourself. That would be bad. Um, like I actually will use this for like legitimate things. Like this is something that I would use out in the barn. This is something that I would use like in the garage. And this is also just completely poseable. Like you don't actually need to put it around your neck. You can just like put this on whatever you want. If you want to wrap this around like your bed post or something, this is pretty legit. Is it high quality? No, it's not gonna be high quality. Like this is plastic. It's just little LED light bulbs. And this is just like poseable foam essentially. And it also needed battery, so just keep that in mind. But for five bucks, not gonna lie, this is kinda cool. And both sides work. I'm impressed. We are off to a good start. I'm kind of impressed by that. Okay, so let's get into this little package. I'm trying to not look at the outside just so that I can be surprised when I open it. 
Um, this is, oh, I remember ordering these and I was curious about these. Oh, it came with two. So these, I was curious about these because I always see things like this. So these are, hold on, let me pull up the actual title. This is two pieces, funny plastic finger ring, multifunctional bookmarker, thumb holder, supports book, markers, book page for books, page stoppers. Oh man. And this was technically free. I just paid $2 for shipping. So that's likely what I did for a lot of these things. If you search on Wish long enough, you can generally find the same item for free where you're just paying for the shipping versus an actual cost. So it came with two of these. I'm gonna open one of them. And this is just a really dumb little piece of plastic. I'm not gonna lie, but I was curious to see how this worked. So basically how you use this, let me grab a book, is basically you put it on your thumb, you put your thumb through the little hole and it has a little anchor here and you put it, oh God, in your book like so, and it holds your book open. Cause God knows your thumb can't do that job alone. So this is literally what the product is. This is so dumb. Why do I need this? I guess you don't need to like press as hard with your thumb. This is really dumb though. It also presses against your pages pretty hard. Um, like this would probably leave dents if you're holding it hard enough and it would probably also split your spine. So just be aware of that. Um, I think this would work better if it were not as flat across. Like if these two little arms were angled up higher, I think it would work better so that you're not like pressing the book flat open. Do you know what I'm saying? This is not worth the money in my opinion. And why do I have two of these? Like why did it ship two? Do I need to like double fist my books? I mean, maybe you don't know what my lifestyle is like, but those I'm gonna say are a miss for me. But I mean, I was curious, it cost me two bucks. Worth the experiment. Okay, moving on to this little flat package. Let's see what this one is. Everything always comes in these ominous little like silvery envelopes and I'm always super curious about what it's gonna be. This is, oh, I did order these. Oh, that's cute. Actually, I got sticky notes because as a reader, we all annotate our books. Okay, we don't all annotate our books. I annotate my books. And sometimes you just need a good little sticky note, like a nice little piece of paper to mark an adorable quote or something. And I just really liked these. These are totally my aesthetic. This is a little ginkgo leaf. Ginkgos are like my favorite tree. So these, I don't know how to judge quality of these. It feels like a piece of paper and it's sticky. So mission accomplished. This is, oh man, whew. Let me take a couple deep breaths. New leaf, maple leaves, note paper, sticky, notes, self stick, notes, creative simulation, following leaves, bookmark, post it, stationary, leave, message, office, accessory, school supplies. Yep, that's what this is. And this was another one that was free, but I paid $2 for shipping. And honestly, these are cute. I like these. It looks like a little ginkgo leaf. It actually looks kind of nice. And that's it, the end. I don't know how to really rate these. It's a post-it note, but I was just kind of curious what they were gonna look like. They are cute. Alrighty, let's get into a big box type item. This one, let's take guesses on what it is. I don't remember everything that I ordered, so it's gonna be a surprise for me as well. This, oh, it looks like it's another book light. Okay, I ordered two. There's a whole bunch of different types on Wish. If you were looking for any type of reading light, there's a lot on there. So this is an LED book light, two arms. And I got this specifically because of the two arm things. I was curious about it. So, ooh, we have a little charging thing. It's in a chargeable one, which is kind of nice actually. And we have the actual device here. So I got this specifically because it has two reading lights. And I'm a weird person. I'm very particular about my book lights. Like I either want them to be really bright or this is an option that I didn't even consider that it has two arms. So one of these can go over both sides of the book, like one page, both pages. Brilliant. Does this need batteries? I think you can charge it or you can put three AAA batteries in it. So let me go grab some more and test this out. Let's keep our fingers crossed that this works. I believe there are buttons on both. Oh, they do work. Oh, and they both have the single light versus the double light option. Okay, that's fun. So one works. Oh, both work. This is cool. Let me grab a book real quick. Okay, I'm not gonna turn the lights out because you guys understand that it's a light. You know how a light functions. Um, this, I'm not gonna lie, this so far is my favorite thing that I've gotten. Um, 
I, okay, so I have a ton of book lights and they all have a single thing, which is fine and it covers most of the page. You can read stuff, but it bothers me when like it's not bright enough to cover the full length of the page and you kind of have to like pose it depending on where you are on the page. This is brilliant. This you can pose however you want, covers both pages brilliantly. I'm a huge fan of this. This alone was worth this video. And this was called the LED Reading Lamp Dual Arms Two LEDs Flexible Book Sheet Music Stand Reading Light Student Dormitory Lights with Clip. Mm hmm And this one I believe was somewhat pricier. This one was $4 and I paid $5 for shipping. So this was $9 total. I would totally have gone to the store and spent like 10 bucks on this though, because this is honestly brilliant. It just has the little clip thing that you clip on your books and it came with a charger. So you technically don't even need to have the batteries in there, which is awesome. Cause I do go through a lot of batteries with book lights. And I personally just love that you can have a light on both pages. Also, this looks like antenna, like, hello. Okay. So that one is a win for me. Okay. Let's move on to another package. This one is very tiny. How do I even open this? Oh, it's on this side. Okay. So let's see what this one is. I believe I got, oh my God, this is so cute. This is a bookmark that I was so excited. I have the ladle version of this. This is a little Loch Ness Monster bookmark. And I'm gonna need to grab a book to show you guys how this works because this is the cutest thing ever. Okay, is this not the cutest thing you've ever seen? So it's literally just this piece of plastic, but the bottom part of little Nessie here goes in between your pages and then these parts stick out. So like the back, the tail and the head stick out of your book. How cute is that? This, oh my God, this is so cute. I love this. I want to buy all of these in all of the colors. I have a ladle version of this where like Nessie's head sticks out of your pot. I don't know if you guys have seen that, but that's also available on Wish. So this is called Creative Loch Ness Monster Fashion Creative Personality Bookmarks 3D Animal Learning Reading Bookmarks New Gifts. Mm hmm. Yep, totally is. And this one was free with $2 shipping kind of totally worth it. Not gonna lie. Look how cute this is. Oh my God, this is precious. I think I'm doing real great with this haul so far. So far, nothing has really wowed me with its quality, but I mean, this doesn't need to be high quality. It needs to be a piece of plastic that looks like the Loch Ness Monster. So great success on this. Okay. Let's get into this very sad looking box because I forget what this is and it's clearly going to be a larger item. Oh, it was opened. That's fun. Love that. So this has clearly gone through the ringer in the postal service. Oh, I'm seeing what it is already. Okay. Oh, I actually need these in my life. So this is like convenient timing right now. I got bookends and it says book. Do you get it? Like book and <laughs> that's cute. Um, there's actually surprisingly a lot of bookends on Wish and they get a little pricey because obviously the shipping is going to cost more because it's a larger item that you can't really like fold up or anything. So these are just little metal bookends that say book on it. And I actually really need these because if you guys can't tell my shelves just kind of end, like I don't actually have bookcases. So my shelves are just kind of like hanging shelves. So I need a lot of bookends in my life. Otherwise I need to like stack books on the end. And these are actually really cute. And again, these I don't really need to like test because it's a piece of metal that you stick books on and it supports them. So I'm gonna say mission accomplished for this. Let's read what the title is for these. Oh, this was a shorter title. This is lovely. Um, this is one pair high quality book stand, desk book, support book, and bookshelf books baffle. What is baffle? Um, and these were slightly pricier as far as Wish stuff goes. It was $5 with $5 shipping. So $10 total for a nice pair of bookends. And honestly, I'm kind of surprised that it came as a set. I was kind of planning on getting like one of these and being disappointed. And it also has the rubber bumpers on the bottom, which is nice. So it won't damage your bookshelves if your books like slide on them. So honestly, that's a win as well. I'm a big fan. This is a good haul. Good job me for picking these wonderful items out. Let's get to this. This one's intriguing me because there's foam in here. Like there's a protective thing in this little container. So let's see what this item is. How do I get into this? I'm just gonna rip it open. This is fine. So we have a foam layer. Um, what is this? I'm guessing this, okay, it's in a box. There's a cat. Oh, I vaguely remember ordering this. This is gonna be entertaining. Um, this I believe is going to be a bookmark. Oh my God. 
<laughs> this is so ridiculous. I bought this just because I thought it was the funniest thing ever. I don't know what this says. It is not in English. Um, this is a cat butt bookmark. And I got this one specifically because it has balls on it because I'm a mature adult. So let me put this in a book real quick to actually demonstrate it. <laughs> this is what we are looking at. It's literally a little tiny cat butt that sticks out of your book. And I bought this one specifically because here, let me try and go down in, there we go. Look at the balls. I can't handle it. This is the funniest thing in the entire world to me. Oh my God, look at its little balls. You could get ones without balls. Spay and neuter your cats, people, okay? But this one was just hilarious to me. So that's what it looks like. Stick it out of your book. Oh my God. Okay, so this is also fairly floppy and flexible, which I kind of like, actually, it's not super stiff. So this one cost me a dollar with $2 shipping, worth it. And this is one piece gift cat DIY stationary cartoon animal style bookmarkers ass bookmark school supplies. When you toss the word ass into school supplies, I am intrigued. This is adorable. 10 out of 10 would recommend this. Okay, the last small item that I have before I get to that is going to be in this little envelope. And I'm curious because I think I'm forgetting what a lot of the things I ordered were. What is this? It's blue. Oh, okay. I know what this is. And I was intrigued by this. This is a book stand, like a thing. You fold it out like this, right? Yes, do I click it? Oh God, am I gonna break it immediately? No, okay. You fold it out like this and it has little arms that hold your book open for you. Is it extendable? It is extendable. Okay, this is the cheapest piece of plastic in the entire world, but I wanna see if it works. So let's start with a little tiny book first and see how this works on it. So basically you just take it, oh God, okay. And you pop it, I probably should have done this like from the side, hold on. Okay, so let's see. Can you guys see how this is working? This actually, kind of cool, not gonna lie. It's extendable, so you can kind of get it to fit your book as you go, but it's literally just a cheap little piece of plastic, but I mainly got this for cookbooks because I do do a lot of cooking in the kitchen and I like using cookbooks. Um, and this is something you can just use to like set on your counter and it will hold your pages open. So this is a little tiny book and this is clearly working and serving its purpose, but I'm curious about bigger books, if it will actually be strong enough to support like a larger book staying open. So this is a pretty hefty, large, tall hardback book. It doesn't look pretty, but I mean, it's serving its purpose. It's doing its job. Not gonna lie, this is actually kind of worth the money. How much did I actually spend on this? Hold on. Okay, I only spent $3 on this. It was a dollar with $2 shipping. So, not bad. This is the Creative Bookshelf Reading Folders Rubber Lazy Bedside Desktop Car Mount. Car Mount? Questionable. Uh, book holder clip for book reading. And it looks like it comes in many different colors. Like the one that it's showing is pink. And honestly, not bad. Oh, it says random color, okay. So apparently I got blue as my random color, which is fine because it matches Nessie. My supplies are all going to match. So this is a really simple little thing. I think if you actually had something like this um, that had a base that actually like rested your book evenly, I think this would be worth your money. I mean, granted I paid $3 for this, but honestly, it's not a dumb idea. Like there are definitely nicer versions of this, but uh, I think it was pretty cool. It's collapsible. You can take it wherever you want. I don't know where you would want to take this, but it's pretty nifty. So three bucks, I'm gonna call this a hit. I think it was worth the money. Okay, so that is it for all of these small items. I feel like that was fairly successful. I got bookmarks, book holders, um, annotating things, book lights, book ends. Those are all fairly useful things. I was trying to stick to stuff that I would legitimately use or want to try and I feel like this was actually successful. This on the other hand, I am so immensely curious about because in my mind, Wish, you get a lot of cheap little things, which is stuff like this, like things that I don't really care if I waste the money, I waste a couple dollars on like a book light that maybe didn't work. This, this is a bookshelf. So I wanna open this, I wanna take a look at it and see if it was worth the money. So let me adjust the camera and start building this. I'll be right back. Alrighty, we are on the floor with this. Now, this is a three tier shelf rack storage organizer bookcase display WPC wood bookshelf. And this was the hot ticket item that I got. This was $21 
with $11 shipping. So that makes this a $32 bookshelf, which is intriguing to me because I, I'm curious what the material is. So let's start opening this. I'm gonna build it and I'm gonna see how accurate this is and how supportive it is because I have so many questions and curiosities about this product. All right, let's start cutting into this. You know what was interesting about this though? As I was slowly collecting all of these items, this was one of the first things, I think this was actually the first item to show up at my house, which was shocking to me because it was the biggest item. So let's see, oh, there's actually like styrofoam and bubble wrap. Actually, this is packaged really well in here. Like this whole thing is actually bubble wrapped. Nice, okay, let's see how this goes. Oh man, are these all one huge pieces? It looks like a puzzle, it looks like puzzle pieces. I'm intrigued, okay. Is there anything else? Nope, that's the whole thing in there. So let's see how this goes. Is it gonna be, oh my God, the instructions are in English, thank God. But this, what material is this? This feels like styrofoam, I'm not gonna lie. This weighs nothing and it feels so breakable to me. I mean, it's hard, but this is definitely not wood. This is not even like um, particle board. This is plastic, so. I'm assuming that's one of the shelves. These I believe are the sides and I'm not kidding. It looks like puzzle pieces. The shelves literally have notches in them like puzzle pieces. These are the shelves. This is ridiculous. I can't wait to see if this will actually support any weight whatsoever. So I'm gonna try and build this real quick. It looks really simple. These are the instructions. There's literally five steps and it looks like you just like piece it together like a puzzle and add a couple screws and it even came with a little mini screwdriver. Let's do this real quick. Okay, so I just built this like a freaking puzzle. This what is this? <laughs> so this is my bookshelf. Honestly, it's not bad. Do I trust this to actually hold more than like two books? Not really. Um, I did not put the screws in for the sake of time for this video because this isn't wood. This is plastic that I literally just squeezed all of the little tiny puzzle pieces through the holes. That's, that's all I did. Will it support a kitten? Yes, it will. Look at that, beautiful. Let me try and put some books on this and see if this was worth the $32 that I spent. Right. I mean, it fits normal sized YA paperbacks. Oh, that's a graphic novel, that'll fit. Let's try a tall book. This is a taller, all right, all right, cool, cool, cool. How about like a tall hardback? Just barely. You know, not too bad, not too shabby. Do I trust this with my life? No, no, I do not, but not terrible, not bad. I might use it for storage as far as like putting like a bin of like maybe kitten toys in it. In case you guys didn't know, I'm fostering a kitten. She's currently running rampant in my library right now. That's who that is. Um, I might use it to put those little like fabric bins on and maybe like a book or two. Maybe this will be like my TBR shelf. So for size comparison, let me pull over one of my TBR cards because you guys know general sizes. Oh no, of those. So for size comparison, it's honestly about the same size as my TBR card. That These are the ones that you can get from Michaels or it's very similar to the Ikea ones. Pretty comparable, not gonna lie. Made out of cheap plastic, but that's okay. I haven't decided if this is worth the money. I think this would honestly be worth maybe $20 or under, just if you are in a bind, if you want a cute bookshelf for like your dorm room or something, this is totally it. Cause this is actually very small, it's compact, but it's actually substantial shelf size because I'm pretty sure you could double stack books on this if you really were desperate for space. I'm kind of, kind of impressed, kind of let down. I'm in the middle. My emotions are a whirlwind right now. Okay, so I'm surrounded by my purchases now. I'm gonna call this a success. Out of all of these items, how many things did I get? I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine items. I think honestly, these were the only let down for me. 
I don't think this is worth anything. This is just a piece of plastic that you can throw away. Um, everything else though, the bookmarks were a riot to me. The little Loch Ness Monster and the cat butt one, super funny. Totally worth a couple bucks if you want a gag gift for somebody. This, if you're going to college, I would totally get this. I'm not gonna lie. It has cute little detailing on the sides. Like it has cross hatch thing on the sides. Will it last? No, it definitely won't last. But if you're in a bind and you just want to put a little tiny bookshelf somewhere, maybe for all of your TBR books, not bad. But when it comes down to it, wish you can't take too seriously. Is it ethical? No, I can guarantee you that. Um, but if you're looking for something for really, really cheap that you don't mind waiting like a month for shipping for, you can get some fun stuff for a couple bucks. You can literally find anything you want. I got this idea because I like watching wish hauls of people who buy like wedding dresses off of Wish or riding gear off of Wish or cooking supplies. You can buy anything on this website um, and just be prepared for it to be highly disappointing. So if you go in with very low expectations, you will always be pleasantly surprised. So that is going to be it for this video. If you guys like this, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and let me know down in the comments if you would like me to do anything else similar to this. I just thought this was a really fun video idea and I was just curious myself about these items, mainly the bookcase. It was interesting. So that's gonna be it. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you guys in my next video.